right, so we finished talking about Freud's theory of personality, but it's important to understand that lots of Freud's contemporaries were talking about personality as well. Eric Erikson had his theory of psychosocial development, Adler has his theory of inferiority complex and birth order, and Carl Jung tapped into the theory of personality types. And personality types is something that has really clung to humans for millennia. About 5,000 years we've been talking about personality types. And this is the idea we might cluster individuals into groups and only one group per person. So you were either a spade, a heart, a diamond, or a club, if you will. And although I'm using card suits, you're going to see that these card suits are actually tied to something historically that was used to describe personality. If we jump back through history, we can find lots of different examples. We know that, for instance, in Ayurvedic writings, there was the idea of three personality types based on our physical body. And it was the idea that really slim individuals with dry skin, they were going to be taller and thinner and, co and considered full of vada. And this was going to make them more anxious. Versus more heavy set individuals known as kapha were people that were more prone to things like depression and sadness. Versus individuals who were a bit medium build or more muscular build, pita, they were more going to be more oily and maybe have some acid reflex. And there might be some health issues connected with each one of these three personalities. We also know that as far back as ancient Egypt, we talked about the four humors. And a Greek philosopher by the name of Hippocrates actually tied these four humors to some personality traits. And it was thought that if your body had too much or too little of either yellow bile, black bile, blood, or phlegm, this could make your personality traits out of order. And so it was thought that we could consider people into these four clusters. This stayed with us through most of medieval medicine and we used leeches to drain different components to help balance out a person's personality. We also started to associate each one of these four bodily humors with a different elemental force. Such that yellow bile was connected with fire, black bile was connected with earth, phlegm was connected with water, and blood was connected with air. This further got connected with the astrological signs. For instance, you might know what the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, or the air signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or the earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, or the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And so it was thought that these astrological signs were connected to the elements, were connected to these four bodily humors. And the four humors stuck around until modern day. We like to think about these four different temperamental traits in almost everything we do. And today, still in pop culture, when we go to create a television show or a movie, we often think about these four different personality forms. One of my very favorite pop culture references that follows the four humors is, of course, a little cartoon show about four brothers who are turtles, whose personalities fall neatly into these four categories. But there's lots of pop culture references where there's four characters have these four corners of personality identified. And it's something that's very pleasing to our psychology. It's something that seems to make sense. We like these four components or these four types. Now, one of Freud's followers who also really liked these four types was, of course, Carl Jung. And so Jung really tried to take the theories around these four humors and around astrology and apply them to psychological characteristics. And so he believed that the more Earth type was a personality that was more about sensing, more about material expressions and getting things through the five senses. People who were more grounded and sensible and materialistic. He believed that people that were more the fire type were people more intuitive and people more passionate. And he believed that people that were more water type were more emotional, more feeling. And the people more air type were more cerebral or more thinking. Now these Jungian personality types, what they were really doing was drawing on cultural perceptions of the original four suits and playing games. When we think about the spade, the heart, the diamond, and the club, those originally were things like the pentacle, the wand, the cup, and the sword in tarot cards, which represented the sensing, intuitive, feeling, and thinking suits. And so what he was really doing was applying these psychological traits to the four suits, or the four elements, or the four humors, or the four types of astrological signs. And so he was just reinforcing that.
This is why these four elements are so pervasive today, not just in cartoons about Ninja Turtles, but one of my other most favorite cartoons about Avatar The Last Airbender and how balancing out these four attributes is so beneficial. It's Jungian mythology.